When you need to change out the PRV sensor on a OptiView panel, this is specifically a YK chiller. The first thing you go to is into the compressor menu and you have your open closed. Now I am in service mode, that is 1380 on the code. And we're gonna trigger it to go to full close right now. And I wanna make sure that my vane motor switch activates. That is in the PRV actuator motor right there. That is a safety switch to ensure that it is in the full closed state. When you order the sensor, make sure you get the assembly so you can purchase it to where it is just the physical rheostat sensor in there. And that's gonna require a level of repair that I doubt you wanna go into. This particular one is part number 37102012-001. To do this, there's two bolts in the bracket that mount to the housing. You can take those two bolts out and then there's just an Allen on a flexible uh, flange in that connects the sensor to the end of the PRV shaft. And this whole assembly is just gonna slide straight off. So one of the first things you should do is go ahead and plug the sensor in and you're gonna see my two marks. Zero and 100 is not maxed out either way. It's a middle point in between the two endpoints. In our particular case, we're gonna then dial this back to what is our zero position. So now that we know what our true zero is, We'll put that in on the PRV shaft, that true zero. Why you would need to do something like this to begin with goes back to that sensor can get out of calibration, those rheostats, the little mechanical contact inside can wear down and it won't read properly and register. So in this particular case, this machine wouldn't stage up because it wouldn't read high enough. We had to offset the sensor calibration to where it wasn't gonna read a true zero anymore, but it would read high enough on the scale to let the machine stage on a lower load. So right now we're in a low ambient outside, but that also meant that we couldn't, we couldn't read a true zero so the machine didn't have an actual PRV position, which is going to affect its ability to run and function properly. So in that scenario, can you do a minor calibration? Sure, but in my recommendation, it is safer to go ahead and replace that component than to trust something you know is on the edge of, of failure to begin with. This is what you're looking for this whole time. Right now we're still in an auto mode and we are activating the close signal. Once you get the sensor put on, you're gonna put it in the open position, but you notice I have it in open and we stopped at 80. All that means is that when we were sliding this together, it just twisted a little bit. All we've got to do is this front nut here. We can back that tensioner off and then slightly turn the rheostat to the position we need it to be. With this Allen backed off, now we can take our needle nose and adjust that stem to make it read the full 100 position. And then we can lock it down and test it for zero and make sure it goes back to a full zero state. Our next step's gonna be go to full close. Right about the time we're hitting zero percent here, we should be closing our vein motor switch up here. So our vein motor switch is closed. We should show 2%. So we're very, very close. We're just slightly off. So we'll back it off one more time make one extremely minor adjustment, and then we will retest for 100% and then back to close again and verify that we are actually in the true range. So we found our midpoint, we're doing good. We're, we're bouncing between that 99 and 100 at the top end. We're getting down to zero, vein switch closes. So when you're done, make sure you go back into auto mode. Something this chiller does have is a pre-rotation vein calibration. If you were to engage this, it's going to go through an internal self-test and it's going to tell you whether or not the PRV sensor passed or failed. What we did here was just a manual version of that. Once all of this is done, you can just go back to the home screen. If you need to log out, don't forget to do so and turn the chiller back into an on state. That was one of the things I didn't mention up front. You do want to make sure the chiller is in an off position to where it's not going to allow it to run. Now keep in mind that you will have to toggle it over before it's actually going to try to start on the next go. These position sensors are just variable resistors that change value as they turn. And so the resistor shouldn't be pegged out one way or the other. You want to use a midpoint, that way you have a clean value in that range that it's able to rotate and register properly. So with that being said, that's all that the control system on this machine is doing is just monitoring that resistance value and then feeding that back as a uh, set percentage. The little small mechanical contacts on these sensors do wear out over time, so they will lose their ability to change and vary resistance like they're supposed to, especially for the points of the, re of the resistor that commonly make contact. So those points in particular 
will get heavier wear and they won't register correctly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you out and it got you past whatever you're dealing with right now. If you need any further help or assistance, feel free to visit my website and get tech support or any other training or anything that you need, consultation and so forth. That's there available to you to help when you need it. I also want to thank Phil Pulse for sponsoring this video. If you ever need service software or you're still trying to do things in a paper form or anything of that nature, or say you're having trouble with the software you currently use, please consider Phil Pulse. They're good guys. You can reach out to Michael over there and Gabe on their team. They'll get you fixed up and taken care of. I got a link in the description. They're a great all around service tool that's automated and will help you as a business, as a manager, better track and focus and keep your team moving forward so that it's less physical work your team has to do and you can spend more time taking care of what really matters, meaning your customers.